Hey guys, it's Scribbles with Sam. I'm Sam, and today I've got something new for you. This is not my Hobonichi Han, which is actually sitting right here um, and chucking up very nicely for the year. This is sort of an impulse buy, but I knew it was coming. Um, yeah, let's get into this. So basically, Hobonichi released their spring stuff, and I saw this cover. And if you know me, you know I love cats and bears, and I had to have it. I had to have it. Um, and this cover won't fit the haunt. The haunt is too big um, because of the hard cover, I guess. And especially with the cover on cover, this clear cover on it, it will not fit in this. Even though technically, like, it looks like it should, but it doesn't. So, I was not going to get it, but I had to get it. And then I found myself wanting a, like a passport size notebook um, because I feel like with my Hobonichi, I've really taken to using my daily spreads just as a journal. Like my to-do lists are not what I use this back section for as much as I tried to make that the case. Like it's not, I don't use the to-do list in here and then I don't use them in here like this is just my week at a glance this is what my week looks like this is what I have going on so there's not really space for to-do lists here either and I have my brain running a mile a million miles a minute with all the things that I need to do um, so I started writing down notes on my phone and my notes app every time a thought comes to my head and it's just been a big brain dump and so I decided to get a notebook to reflect that process that's been working for me. So this is my brain dump notebook basically um, where everything that comes into my head just gets written down and that's how I like it. I originally thought I wanted a passport size for easy tra uh, traveling and taking it out of the house with me so I could leave my haunt at home, but because of this cover, because of this cover right here that I had to have, I ended up getting a Hobonichi A5 notebook, right? And they just released these with the cats on them and I thought it was just too freaking cute. I couldn't help myself. So let's talk about my new notebook. Over here, I have one of the thinner notebooks that come in the two packs. This is kind of just like practicing using a Hobonichi before I got one. I kind of do some like budgeting, just like practice spreads in here. It's really just like practice paper. And this is so thin and tiny that I feel like I'm going to use it up in like half a second. So I did use this, but I'm not continuously using it and not for important things. Like this is all gonna get thrown away by the time I'm done with this notebook. So that's what that notebook is. This cover comes with two little tab thingies. I don't love these. These are never my favorite. I don't know that these are anyone's favorite, but I am currently trying to use one of them. The other one I'm just tucking back here. Uh, this sticker came for free with the cover. And then in here, I just have one of my many sticky note sheets. And I was like, oh, let's stick some sticky notes in there, try to use them up. Other than that, I have nothing in the pockets yet. I hope to fill them out soon. I just, I can't decide what I wanna do with it, right? So I'm leaving it blank for now. There is also on this side, a pocket right here. And this pocket where I slide the notebook into. So this notebook is just the same designer or the same artist that they used for the cover. It's an A5 notebook. It's pretty substantially thick. Like I would probably consider this um, maybe an Avec size, a little smaller than an Avec. Well, it's kind of an Avec size it looks like in comparison to the Hobonichi cousin. But it's literally just plain dot grid paper. There's nothing on it. It's just the paper, which is what I needed. So I'm going to slide this guy back in and take you on a tour of what I've been using it for so far. I just got this on Wednesday, so bear with me as it's not fully fleshed out yet, but this is sort of where my brain's been working. I think on this inner page, I'm going to use a pocket or maybe two pockets 
This is the Coffee Monsters Co. Quarter One subscription. It came with this pocket, but I also ordered the cloud ones that she just came out with. So maybe I'll do the big cloud one over here, the small cloud one over here, and then another small one right here. I'm thinking pockets on these page, but I'm not sure. Okay, or maybe just pockets over here and decoration over here. Um, not sure yet. This I left blank because I always leave it blank. This I'm thinking we're definitely decorating, so I grabbed a bunch of my vinyls that I can decorate it with, and I'll probably do that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Opening up, I just started with mapping out February. Um, I'm not going to back journal. I'm not going to care about anything. None of this I care about. It's just like I need to brain dump. So instead of drawing out a whole calendar, I just wrote out the dates and wrote down things that are going on. So that way I have some sort of reference in my head because I keep thinking about things and it's on my phone. And yeah, it's a little bit redundant because I also have my planner with all of these things written down. But I just need to see things multiple times. Actually, this right here is why I considered getting the day free and using those but I didn't want to limit myself to 2024 with those months. So I just kind of went with the notebook instead. And if I decide to draw a calendar, I will. So over here, I just started, it's literally like a bullet journal. It's just Wednesday, everything, every single thought that came to my head, uniforms, covers tomorrow, tennis things, YouTube things, upload this, get this, plan this, journal this. Like every time I thought about something, I was writing it down. Um, same thing for Thursday. It's just whatever to do I could possibly think of got written down. Um, and this is like, and none of this, I don't even think half of this gotten done, had gotten done on Wednesday or Thursday. I just went back and crossed it out. So I wrote it down on Thursday, but I didn't necessarily do this on Thursday. I decided that I had too many things going on for tennis. So I just made a whole collection basically for tennis things. So all of my tennis thoughts are up here. Um, which that'll end in April. So, you know, as I come up with things that need to be fixed or emailed or whatever, it goes here. This is my Iceland um, brain dump, basically. Again, it's all a brain dump. I need to email some people. I need to get a coat. I need to get some wool socks. So that's on my Iceland priority list. Up in the corner, I have written the number of the marker that I used in case I want to make like little headers like I did here. I know what marker I did so if I care about matching um, I can. I'm not planning on using stickers in this. I don't really care necessarily that it matches anything um, but sometimes it is nice to have a cohesive look. So this is what I did with one of my classes that I'm taking this semester. I just wrote out the rest of the schedule um, on here it even goes down to another page. And then this side is for notes about this module. So like, I don't have live class on the 8th, but I know I'm gonna have a group meeting. So I'll probably have notes about what we're gonna do during that group meeting. Um, and just like anything that I need to think of, maybe I'll flesh out what cl class prep means over here, like class prep, research this, write this, discussion post this, whatever. So this is like notes, this is the tasks for that week. I did the same thing with my other class, I only have I have a lot more going on in that class, but it's just week by week by week by week, lots of assignments, everything that's due, everything that needs to be done according to the syllabus, wrote it down, left space for notes. Here I did a YouTube brain dump, so some stuff that I'm thinking about for YouTube. Left this back page blank in case I was planning on, you know, extending the list, I had more space to write because this is the kind of thing that I can come back to forever. So I can finish it up on one page and just start another page or I can just flip it over the back and start that page. So this is the kind of thing that I did leave the back for. Whereas um, some other stuff, I don't necessarily do that. Like uh, the tennis list. I know I only need one page for that. So I just started on the back. Here, I just moved on and started writing my brain dump for Friday of things that I wanted to do today. And then I started a to buy list of things that I needed to buy. And that's literally it. It's um, collections is like the bullet germ journal term for that. Uh, and I'm giving myself the freedom to be as messy as I choose to be as I want to be in this. 
planner uh, notebook. It's just a notebook. It's just to organize my brain. My planner, like this is a reflection of my daily life. This is my thoughts, my feelings, the events, the things that I did. This is the books that I've read. This is, you know, me not having it versus and getting bad news and needing to vent about it or, you know, having a great weekend out with some family members. Like this is what this book is for me. And just seeing my life, this is like my life book. This book, this notebook right here is like my brain if that makes any sense. So maybe you can consider this a little bit more memory keeping, even though it's live memory keeping, it's not back journaled really. And this is just, help me think. It helps me think. So yeah, that's this notebook. And I was thinking while I was talking about uh, what I wanted to do with these pages and I think I'm going to commit to decorating these pages So I'm going to go ahead and do that with you on camera if you don't mind Because I have all these vinyls and I'm never going <laughs> to use them um, They're all like coffee. I love this one coffee monsters co Vinyls um, I love like those guys look so cute next to each other. This one's from see me draw. I have no idea where this one's from See, like, this would look cute, like, in the middle. I think even if we go in the middle like this. And do like this. Um, da, 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 da. See, now I'm all quiet because I'm thinking. <laughs> um, hmm. Or do I not do that guy and do like this? Or do I leave space to grow? I mean, I could leave space to grow. Do I want to leave space to grow? Do I want to just stick everything down now? I can do that. And then I have this awkward space over here. I can do him sideways. Then he's gonna cut off. No. I can move this guy up and put it off to the side. Do something like that. And like that. Still think he wouldn't fit quite right. right there. Hmm. Okay, well, I know what I do like, and I like these guys up here. And I like him in this corner because he fits nicely right there. I definitely want this, I think, in the middle. So... Maybe we do. I don't like the book next to the book. Um, thinking like this. And then like this. And then maybe we Hmm. <laughs> Do we prefer chapter one up here? Kind of liking this so far. Like this is what I feel the most happy about. So let's commit to this. I think that these are the stickers that are calling to me the most right now. And I can always add more as the time comes. I'm trying to like put my head in the camera so we have professional emoji shopper or emoji professional shopper or whatever that says mm. to 
Department of Splurge Management. That's funny. Can't get this guy off. There we go. And she is going to go as far up as I can get her. And this guy I know is going in that corner. I love this like ducks one. Oh, it's so cute. I snatched it the second I saw it. Get your ducks in a row. It's not really ducks in a row. It's, I mean, there's a chicken or a rooster on there. Um, proud bookworm. Just me. We'll go right centered right there. Okay, so then I want to do this guy and this guy. Should I do this one first so I can confirm that he has enough space? Because he's a little close. You can't see it. Well, maybe you can. But this is like that sheet of that one piece of paper that's like a little bit smaller than the rest of the book because it's attached to the binding or the front page. I don't know what that sheet's called, but I think you guys all know what I'm talking about. Check one. All right. And then this big, oh, this is not a sticker, I don't think. Is it? Is it a sticker? We're either going to break it or we're going to find something amazing. If it's not a sticker, I can just tape it in. I thought it was a sticker. It's a sticker. Okay. And you are going to go... Right there. Okay, so I do still have some space. I kind of like that one there. But I don't know that I want to commit to putting anything else down right now. I think maybe I just want to leave my options open to whatever the future holds. So I'm going to leave it at that. Put my vinyl stickers back where they belong. And That'll be my new Hobonichi notebook. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this little uh, expose, show and tell situation. I don't know what to call it. My little show and tell of my new notebook. I hope you guys are excited to see it. I will definitely be including it in monthly wrap ups so you can see what's been going on in my head for the month. Um, and how this book evolves over time. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you are too. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!